Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Archeon campaign. And, uh, and we've caught the interest of some pigs. I just thought I'd let you know that. They seem uh, interested in joining our cult. So, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Probably fighting some people, huh? Probably. Uh, so, yeah, we've sort of upset everybody, haven't we? We've upset all of our neighbours. Uh, not that we really have neighbours. We, we're basically just trespassing. But that's fine. That's fine. It's all good. Um, right, so, Hordred here. He's looking pretty good these days. But what I think we might do is slow him down a bit. I might uh, I might have him possibly take out these two, although I was going to leave that to Archeon to sweep through here. Because what I reckon is happening, we're in that position where, in terms of turns spent, we are going quickly because we've split up our two armies and, you know, we're destroying everything that we could possibly be destroying um, in as quick a time as possible because we're splitting them up and they're attacking different targets, which is great. But it actually means that the playtime is going way up in terms of just minutes spent because we're not in a position where we can just sort of double stack against whatever and just auto-resolve a bunch of the more trivial um, trivial sort of uh, battles. So I think what we're going to want to do is keep our guys together a bit so we can make some progress through Norska. I might see if I can have Archeon take out, um, you know, maybe Wolfric and uh, uh, Throg on his own. But other than that, I think we want to head back up here and just start, you know, zipping from one to the next and just slowly clear this out and awaken as many Norskans as possible so that way we can get into the real meat of the Empire again and uh, hopefully, hopefully with Sigvold and Kolak in tow as well it'd be pretty good. So that's what we're going to try and do I think we're going to try and work our way towards that goal so um, yeah that way we can get things done a little bit quicker I think and save the battles for the battles that matter. Yeah so let's crack on so Throt wants a non-aggression pact, but I'm going to say no, because I think we are going to burn his area to the ground, because I do need my uh, uh, my bear swanlings to start taking territory over, and they can't occupy these ruins while I'm not at war with these guys, so I do need to deal with Hellpit, I do need to deal with Clan Mulder, though it will give me some extra health for defeating my believe. I believe it's something like 10% extra uh, hit points is the, the trait that you get for killing him. So um, obviously we're not going to make a non-aggression pact, because that would get in the way of things slightly. Ooh, so this is interesting. So, if I declare war on Throt now, is that going to get my army destroyed or their army destroyed next turn? That's what I want to know. Also, the Van Heimlings have uh, confederated the World Takers. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> what? That's the wrong way around. That means the Van Heimlings managed to defeat Wolfric somehow. That is hilarious. A legendary lord got taken out by some minor faction and has been absorbed. That's adorable. That is adorable. Wow, okay. So yeah, let's look at this army. We can't look at this army. Do you think a billion cavalry could win? I know if I had this army, I could beat any Skaven army. Just, Skaven aren't good at being cycle charged. They're really not. Um, the units that are good for that sort of thing, um, you know, that sort of can combat sort of mass cavalry, are all their ranged units. But when you have this much cavalry, all the ranged units are going to get swarmed. But... I'm not in control of his army, so it's not that simple, is it? Uh, also, Valmir von Rorkov, get out of here. Oh, and we lost all of our other bear soldiers over here, I think. Yeah, I think Alderbrand got them. So yeah, the bear soldiers are in trouble. So yeah, we do need to deal with some of this stuff. Let's have a look, actually. How many... Only three settlements, so there is there is room for the bear soldiers to, to build up some steam. Um, I was going to attack uh, Hockland as well, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Uh, which, again, probably makes the best on links uh, even more disadvantaged, but that's okay. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, we can we can order resolve that. Lovely. And destroy him, and I think we're back up to full health again. Pretty much. Pretty much. Alright, so, now... Cascading Fire Cloak would be nice. Getting Fireball better would be good, actually. Also, Piercing Bolts. Cooldown on that would be good, too. Because that's great in a siege. Like, Piercing Bolts on the on the walls are fantastic. So, yeah, let's try and speed that up a bit. Uh, Flamestorm, I don't think we need any quicker. And Overcasting it is... Yeah, you know, it's a bit expensive at 13 um, for what it is. Because it's a bit unreliable. It does a ton of damage, but you never know if it's actually going to hit the thing. 
that you want to hit or not, you know, because it just sort of wanders about. Uh, so let's do fireball as well. Although I should have done this stuff really, huh? The stuff at the bottom. It's fine. Okay. Good, good, good. Lovely. Yaha. Uh, we have space in this army, and I forget why. What were we making room for? Was it more Swords of Chaos? Are we just going to wait for that? Possibly. Possibly. Maybe we just lost something. I really can't remember, you know. Was it was it because I wanted to get rid of both of the doggos? Possibly. Because just having one was a waste. Anyway, um... We shall win now, Hordred can take uh, Zhoishank. Nice and easy. Once again, raise it to the ground. And Kislev is almost done now. They only have two more settlements, I believe. Let's just check. Do you want to talk? They don't want to talk. Funny that. Kislev. Kislev, Kislev, Kislev. Kislev? Kislev, there we go. Two settlements. Brilliant. So, yep. One more turn. Provided we can reach that in a turn. I think we can. Cutting a bit close, but I think we can. Oh, provided we can get there in a turn. Again, I think we can. We move fairly quickly. Uh, let's get evasion for you. Uh, let's get... Ooh, do you want purple sun or fate of Buner? Again, this is the flamestorm versus not flamestorm argument. Uh, fate of Buner is more uh, reliable, but purple sun is more fun. Uh, we certainly don't need to be overcasting something like purple sun, because again, it melts everything. But, uh, uh, you know, we'll get Fate of Buna, because, yeah, Hordred needs something just reliable that can be used to, you know, just take out a unit in a hurry. Okay, good. Good stuff. Right. Valmir von Rorkov and Eldred Schumacher are both hanging out here. We should deal with them. So we've got two elect accounts in Kislev right now, trying to hunt us. Doing a terrible job of it, too. Alright, let's crack on. I should have I should have tried to build something, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should. Don't worry about it. We got plenty of time. Okay, so lovely stuff, sword of cane claimed again. It's a silly sword. Magic is chaos! Hordred, while the gods seem happy with the strength of our sword arms, they sense weakness. Should we confront an arcane foe? They have sent us a chaos sorcerer. Ensure he does our bidding. And not the other way around. Uh that's interesting. It says, it says for Hordred, but it's recruited it at Archeon, which is interesting. Okay. And again, uh, he's level one, so we don't need him, because... Yeah, because we can recruit people at higher level than that. So, yeah. Chaos Gods, they mean well. <laughs> but they're terrible managers. Uh, and yeah, we can't reach it yet. That's fine. We'll get there in a second. Oh, hello. Grot slick teeth robber. Uh, so there's an awful lot of people who want us dead around here. That's okay. Including Dmitry Zaryov. You remember him. You can see his some of his units are still recovering from the battle we had earlier, I think. And Hordred. Yeah, I can't quite reach Aaron Grad yet. I am, I am tempted to detour to Valmir von Rorkov. But I would like to hit here and then just head straight north for help it. So that's the issue I'm having here. Hmm. I still can take another turn to raise that, so we will just be here. So we do have time, but that's only if I can reach this next turn. Um, you know what? This guy might be chasing us down. So I might as well. Might as well head down here. Uh, hopefully the bear songlings aren't going to get caught out. And yeah, plenty more people at Erengrad. Not a big garrison, though. So it looks like we're good. Right. Let's max out our ruinous war host. Only ever chosen have sufficient risen, uh, have sufficiently risen in power to command a true war host of chaos, and apparently everyone else too. Portrait apparently has now now got to a point where if if he was from a different era, he would be considered an ever chosen. That's impressive. Just shows the scale of the invasion has uh, grown somewhat. So that's fun. So um, I can get followers of corn and crimson skull cultists as well. That's fun. Fanatical servants of Chaos Gods, these soldiers dedicated their lives to corn and its will. I'm sure they did. Forsaken would be fun too. Wouldn't mind getting some Forsaken. Hmm. Very tempted. Very tempted, you know. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of a couple of these. 
I say a couple. A few. You know what? I can recruit three things, so I will get three things. There we go. Also, while I'm here, I'm going to recruit a hero. Uh, yeah, Chaos Sorcerer. And what looks good? This, this has a faction-wide buff, and that's what I'm looking for, because this guy will actually remain idle. Um, so, you know. Nope. 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 And no, that's perfect then. Let's get knowledgeable. We can get extra wins and magic for all of our armies, faction-wide. Uh, also, I guess, um... Yeah, spreading corruption, might as well. Uh, and wound, in case anyone starts bothering him. And we get specialists, so everything gets a bit better, and then we'll start doing some magic, I suppose. Yeah, there we are. Alright. Now you head over to Bear Solid's camp, because this is the objective for a billion quests. So we do need someone there. But also, great to get a level 5 character straight out the gate like that. You know, if there's a spell cast we can use in an army, that would pretty much... That would be 10 skill points we can spend on spells, basically. So we'd have all the spells we needed. Straight out of the gate. Which is really good. Really good indeed. Also, it looks like we are one turn away from getting the Palanquin of Trophies. Because we're getting 26. Uh, growth per turn right now, which is fantastic. We only need 20 for each pip. And we're already on 18, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, I suppose you should go into your favourite stance. Good. I just can't believe how many chosen we've got. It's bloody marvellous. Right. Uh, also, you. Yeah, we're building that, so we're not going to afford anything else just yet, are we? But I think we might have to get the Blasphemous Icon and build up to Chaos Wall Shrine just so we get cheaper. Um, you know, cheaper uh, uh, Chaos Warriors and Chosen and whatever else we end up in that army. So, let's crack on. Ooh, look at this. It looks like they're coming for us. <laughs> it's a third army. Wow. So this is Radius Mod, guys. This is Radius Mod. The AI will get a lot of armies. And at some point, it will actually start getting incredibly challenging. Because you might say, oh, but Janet, look, you've got all this chosen. You know, you've got no problem. But it won't be long before all of these guys start getting units that are even more elite than great swordsmen. They'll get things like Imperial Foot and all sorts. They'll get, like, really good units. Because Radius does add a bunch of, you know, units to our enemies as well. Um, so they'll have stuff better than chosen. Well, probably not better than chosen, but... Certainly on an equal footing, it's going to get scary. And they're going to have three stacks of them. So, although it seems we've got a huge advantage now, that advantage will diminish as they sort of catch up to our tech, you know? So it's, um, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. But, uh, you know what? We can just auto-resolve this. But it seems a waste when there's a billion people. So I guess this will be the battle we do today. Alright, so... Uh, we've got a Chaos Knights now, which is lovely. These guys would be great fun. They don't come in very big uh, model counts, of course, the Swords of Chaos, but they're, they're very good. Good armor piercing, anti-infantry. Lovely. Although I don't think they actually have... Um, I can't recall if they actually are armor piercing units in um, the base game. I'm pretty sure it's Radius that sort of tweaked them to be a little bit more um, fighty. Alright, so we'll do something like this. The order of these guys don't really matter. I just want to have a nice bit of variety in there. You yeah, know? That's really what I'm going for with these these forces right now. And do I want to clump up a little more, actually? I think I might want to. I think I might want to. Because, yeah, we're getting most of our damage from our spells. So we might as well. They don't have any artillery, as far as I could see. So I think we're good. And I'm going to want to go slightly out the trees, I think. Although, I suppose I could just go back here. So that way I'm, uh, you know, I've got a nice, clear line of sight on everything. Including any archers that are coming through the trees. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming for us. Like a ludicrous amount of stuff coming for us. Things are going to get crazy. Oh, I can't wait. Also, one thing, can I just say? I hope they fix this in Warhammer 3. I hope the, like, the LOD... You know, for the grass, like the just the draw distance, gets changed, or they have like some pattern that can be seen at a distance that resembles this at a distance, rather than the grass appearing. You know, there's supposed to be grass here. You see, look at all this grass. 
It looks great when you're here, but as soon as you zoom out, you get this weird effect where that doesn't load in, so it looks like there's nothing but snow. It looks good like this too, but it doesn't look good like that. That's a weird one, you know? That's when things get weird. I hope Warhammer 3 addresses that. It only really happens on snowy maps, you know? Other maps, doesn't really happen, because the ground is painted the same way. So, you know, I hope that's something that's addressed. I imagine there's going to be a lot more snow in uh, Warhammer 3, given the fact that Kislev are going to be a core faction of it, you know? Also, the Skullbinders are all on one side again, because I regrouped these guys. That's a pity. That's a pity. So. Oh, another cow spawn against shot. That's sad. <laughs> Poor little guys. Alright. So. There's an awful lot of uh, enemies over here. Will I hit some of my own guys? Probably. That's fine. Don't worry about it. And yeah, that went pretty well. Barely touched us. I love having a spell so devastating with very little armor piercing. Because when our whole army has like 120 armor, it's almost untouched. It is almost untouched. Alright, you go kill those free company. I don't like their odds, personally. Okay, so. What next? God, look at these guys, too. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we're doing well over there. Tell you what, let's keep supporting our hounds so we can get them a little quicker. Oh, you got stuck, did you? Don't be doing that. Poor little guy. And let's up their melee defense so they can tackle them even better. And now, you know what, there's even more coming in, so I'm going to wait a second. <laughs> let's just wait a mo. Oh, that should do it. Okay. Come on, catch to the left, catch to the left. Oh, at least it'll catch these guys. And it's doing some damage to us. I did say we have all the armor in the world, it's great and everything, but it doesn't make us invincible to it. And wow, those flagellants ran straight into it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, flagellants. It's good of you. Alright, go kill those archers, will you? Don't know where those flagellants came from, I wasn't paying attention to them. I think they came in from behind us. They got reinforcements from over there too, didn't they? Silly. God, my frame rate isn't particularly happy about this, you know. Something about having 8 billion people on screen all at once is um, problematic, apparently. So if I was going to the burning head, I think I might actually use it in the middle of these guys straight away. I'll certainly do. That's also something I hope they fix in Warhammer 3. Uh, if you noticed that just then, well, if you didn't notice it, it was, it's this weird effect where if you're about to do a spell or ability, you have to click on something. If anyone in your army sort of changes their status, rampage or running away, anything like that, then, um, yeah, it sort of just ruins everything. Um, it unselects what you're doing, so you have to just sort of, like, start again with that action. It's, it's really quite frustrating. Alright, so how are we looking now, huh? 970 kills? New record. New record. Doing pretty well. Now we're still going. We're still going. Alright, let's kill some of them too. Oh, we still got loads of Winds of Magic. And yeah, we can set fire to all them again. It's a lot of flagellants, so this is saving us a lot of time. Saving us a hell of a lot of time. We haven't even sent our knights in yet. Should probably do that. Again, Sword of Chaos got a huge amount of uh, armor themselves, so they're not really going to get hit either. Alright, how are we looking? 1,300 kills. That is a fantastic record. I don't think we're going to beat that for quite a while, you know, guys. Especially because our enemies are going to start fielding heavily armored units. I'm not going to be able to use the same level of cheese here without... Pardon me, without burning heads. So that's, um... Yeah, pretty wild. Pretty wild. Oh my god, there's more reinforcements on their way as well. Makes sense. Alright, kill uh, Eldred Schumacher, please. Kurt Hart is there too. Um, do we know where their lord is? Oh, there's Marius Burns. So there's the other one. Um, hang on, isn't there another one? Oh, that's an Archlector. That's an Archlector. Okay, yeah, that's it then. It's just the three armies. 
My bad. I thought um, I thought one of the elect counts was in the area, but turns out that army is elsewhere. Okay, let's go help finish them off. Come on, guys, get out of there, silly pups, silly pups. All right. Yeah, our uh, uh, Swords of Chaos with the armor piercing and the anti-infantry, they should be great for taking out low-level generals. It's going to be pretty bleak for them, if I'm honest. All right, let's see if we can't kill a few more. Uh, it seems we're, we are indeed killing a few more. Ooh. That's an extra 100. Oh, do you think we'll be able to get to 1,500? Or do you think they're going to break before then? They very well might. And, ooh, good, good. Looks like they want to get involved over here. That's wonderful. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's more units coming. There's, I have a feeling army losses are going to hit sooner or later. And that's 1,500 kills. Good job, Archeon. How much damage have you done? 166,000 damage. This is the most damage I have ever done in this game with one unit, I think. Certainly since I've recorded damage dealt. You know, I may have got more at some point, just because I've played this game for a very long time. But, that is obscene. That is an obscene amount of damage. And just 12,000 damage value as well is, um... That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Where are my other bone boys? What are they called? Skullbinders. That's the one. Yeah, you come back. So, who else is coming? Yeah, there's still, still units trickling in over here. Mad. I'm trying to see if there's anyone else around, but I don't see anyone else apart from the ones coming from this direction. I just don't see how the balance of power is this even. It's pretty bizarre. Uh, we've lost just over 100 men, guys. we lost just over 100 men. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Mostly followers of corn, by the looks of it. They did get set on fire quite a bit though, so it makes sense. And yeah, it looks like it looks like army losses will be happening pretty quickly. Leadership is really plummeting for a lot of these guys. But yeah, fifteen hundred kills. I'd say that's quite good. I'd say that's quite good. Like, it'll do, you know. It'll do. I can't complain. I right, try to get the arch selector, although he does have a bit of magic resistance, doesn't he? Being an arch selector, how much is it? Fifteen percent. With uh, radius mod, I think that's accurate anyway. But I always have to check because uh, radius mod is uh, well, it's different, isn't it? Okay, don't like them. Don't like them hanging about. All right, let's get another fireball on him. Good. And actually, I'm just going to charge him to pin him in place. I think. I charge them to pin them, in pin them in place, and then I will um, burn them all. No, 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 come back. Ah, rude. It's fine, I think they're still going to get it. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, come on, stay still. I don't think they want to stay still. Alright, let's just hit them with another spell, shall we? Uh, oh, there are more units coming in, actually. Flippin' egg. Alright, let's let's get our hounds in here. Alright, how we'll get these cav in. I just don't Well, I mean I guess it might speed things up, but I was under the assumption that our chosen just wouldn't be quick enough to sway anything. I figured the battle would be done before they arrived at uh, any obstacle. But it seems they're still in the fight, so who can say? We're finally out of magic by the looks of it. I've been pretty much going into the assumption that we have infinite magic, but that's just not quite the case. Notice how I said not quite the case. We have 1,563 kills worth of magic. Didn't even min-max half of it. A lot of it I was just like, eh, flamestorm, YOLO. So, um, yeah. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, let's kill some of these arch lectors, shall we? And some of these archers. Come back here, little swine. How are you doing? 168 kills, the Swords of Chaos, despite the fact they were sat idle for most of this. Most of this battle. 
It was them doing literally nothing. Um, wow, how are you still in the fight? Oh, because it's Leopold's leopard archers. For the leopard, we roared and charged too. We'd all shared the glory and the loot. Philomir Philomir Zarpinka, mercenary sergeant. On the Battle of Frozen Lakes. Well, there you go. There you go, guys. Leopard stuff. Lots of leopard stuff. Yeah, I think everyone's got hundreds of kills, haven't they? Oh, no, these poor little chosen only 27. Aw, so neglected. Yeah, I'm amazed, uh, amazed anyone is still fighting. Very surprised. Oh, where's Archeon now? Oh, he's still, he's still chasing these guys. With the doggos. Are we done? Are we done yet? With this weird grass that's spawning in? If we go low to the ground, it's harder to notice. Okay, come on, boys. This is ridiculous. Who's still going? I mean, look at this. Troop cares on 80. Oh, they're there. Okay, these guys are apparently still going. Is that it? That's got to be it, right? No, because that's 37 of them. Where, Where's the other 50? Where are the other 50 guys? I mean, is it is it these ones that are just not shattered yet? There we go. Finally. God, it took a long time to just clear up the stragglers, didn't it? Anyway, close victory. Really close, not heroic. Oh, no, actually, the balance of power said that we would absolutely crush it, and we did, so... Okay. Good amount of money, too. Good amount of money. Or favour, I suppose. You know, you know the drill. But yeah, we pretty much wiped everyone out. That's good, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely. Um, let's, uh... Ooh, do I want to try and get more experience with my Chosen? I think I do. I think I do. Even though it's not much, but... You know, it contributes. Okay, go on. Shoo. And yeah, there's, there's their elect account. So I could have Hordred wipe out their elect account as well. Ah, brilliant. The Eye of Syrian, which he has. And he has the crown of domination. Because this is what you're seeing here. This portrait is a combination of the crown of domination and the Eye of Syrian. The Eye of Syrian got embedded into the crown of domination when it was when he was crowned um, ever chosen by Belicorp. So that's a combination of the two. But time is wibbly. Okay, it's uh, it's like Jeremy Beremy. So don't worry about it. The ruinous powers have found some fleeting entertainment in Archeon's feats to date, but there remain others who are, who also command their attention. Archeon has seen his own destiny, though revealed to him in the heretical manuscripts of Necrodomo the Insane, who tore out his eyes after having a vision of the destruction of the world at Archeon's hands. His power waxes ever stronger, and with it the favour of the Dark Gods. Well, all right then. So, um, yeah, the, the manuscripts of Necrodomo the Insane, that was back when um, uh, Archaon was a priest of Sigma. So, you know, silly him. Definitely a bit of a turnaround. So, and then move a character to the Garamondi Mountains. Oh, really? Again? Yeah. A lot of quests will result in this, so uh, we'll just head over there. Uh, although his accumulation of power is remorseless, Archeon finds himself chafing at the, at the steady pace, gripped by conviction as to his fate. He searches in vain for a challenge worthy of him. At last, after weeks, of uh, weeks or perhaps months of aimless wandering, Archeon determines to seek answers from one of the Chaos Sorcerers who have attached themselves to his horde. Such mortals barter fractions of their uh, souls in exchange for greater magical powers. They are seen as the oracles of the gods and act as prophets, seers, and counsellors, guiding their warlords and chieftains to ever greater conquests. Cool. You need a boom. Yeah, need a boom, boom. -a. Destroy. Fight the concords. Anyway, uh, yeah. Bye, Aaron Grad. Grad to meet you. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Won't quit my day job. This is my day job. Oh dear God. There's no hope. Right. So that's all good. We might get attacked by um, by by Valmir here, and it might be a little tricky. But it might not be. So don't worry about it. 
So, uh, yeah, don't want to build that. We still want to save up. Six. God, it's going to take a little while. Definitely going to take a little while. But, yeah, I'm not really seeing any more um, allies of Ostermark. So, sorry, Ostland, not Ostermark. This is Ostermark. This is Ostland. I get my Osts confused. Um, good. Good, we get the Palanquin of Trophies now. So, let's wipe out Kislev. Hello, Kislev. I'm going to leave the straggling armies, because it means they have to return back to the home territory uh, before they can start getting more units, because there tends to be like a, a weird sort of cap um, in Warhammer where the AI will sort of... they'll like hit a maximum amount of armies that the game has decided their faction can support. So leaving a bunch that is sort of injured is fine, because we don't have territory to try and, you know, support. It doesn't matter if there's trespassing happening, they're not going to raid any of our land. We can just leave all these stragglers kicking about. It really doesn't matter. If anything, it just slows down the faction. You know, if we destroy this, then they replace the entire army. So the fact that these are low-tier units in these armies as well, it means they're just going to get replenished, rather than replaced. So, it's pretty great. So, yeah. Anyway, Archon's got bigger concerns. You know, Archon's about the big plan. He's not trying to kill literally everybody um, on his own. No, he's trying to destroy the world. I think that'll probably kill quite a few people, you know? The only people he's interested in killing are the people who are in his way. So, those guys are no longer in my way, so whatever. It's fine by me. Um, so what are we going to do with Archeon? I would quite like to get over here to stand or die. That would be quite nice. I would be a fan of that. Um, Chosen of the Gods is pretty good too, for extra melee defense. You know? And hit points, and weapon strength. Or a cows with missile resist is nice too. Or a size, I don't think really matters, everyone is... Oh, my word, we haven't even upgraded any of his combat skills yet. He's already pretty fighty, isn't he? I mean, 1500 kills per turn, but we're pretty much using him like a wizard. So, dunno, this stuff's good too. Uh, ambush defense chance, but I mean... Who cares, we can get ambushed, I'm cool with it. That'll speed us up. And how many points do we need? Four down here. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot we need. There's a lot we need. Um, what we can do, hammer into Anvil, and that'll make our Chaos Knights better. As well as Gorby's Chariots if we end up with them. That'd be quite fun too. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Let's get our Chaos Knights really, really good. Let's do that. Because we have some now, and I want them to be really, really good. So let's do hammer and Anvil. I'm amazed we haven't upgraded Cascading Fire Club yet, but we do at least have it, you know. Um, but yeah, let's do hammer and Anvil to max. Get Rally, then Legion of Doom... Um, and then, to be honest, we'll probably actually get... Yeah, we'll probably have to get that and Speed of Malice, and then Stand or Die. So, still quite a lot we need to get in the red line. And then it'll just be... Yeah, crazy, um, smashing everything there. Although, that would be good too for Corruption. There's a lot we want. I'm, I'm greedy. I'm being greedy here. You know, we get a lot of skill points now, so I assume I can get everything. But there's still a limit to the amount of skill points I'm accruing. You've got to prioritise something, you know. Um... Oh! Yes. I realised I didn't actually now destroy Elngrad. There we go. Kislev's destroyed. You guys are going to have to wait for Warhammer 3 now. So, let's get uh, Magical Reserves. I want to get to Arcane Conduit. Because before, it didn't really matter because um, Spirit Leech, we couldn't use it often enough to ever really run out of magic with this character. But now, we have Fate of Buda to use as well. and That's more expensive. So, um, yeah, let's get that and Purple Sun. Cool. And then I think we'll also do something um, down here, like uh, Monstrous Strength, maybe? It'd be quite cool to get this guy a bunch of, like, Chaos Giants or something. That could be quite fun. So we could try that. What's Savage Bloodlust? Is that going to be Horse Masters and, and Feral Manticores and such? Hmm. Fine. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Monstrous Strength. I, I want to get a bunch of uh, Giants in this army. I think it's more fun. Especially because the damage that we'll be doing will be direct damage. Because we're, you know, Deathcaster in this army. It's not going to be like, if we have like a bunch of monsters, it's going to be in the way of fireballs and stuff. Um, so we can we can go Tool, I suppose. We can go with Tool units. So. Now though, 36 growth in one turn. That is fantastic. We're well on our way. Okay, good. Oh, it's Gotrek. Hello, Gotrek and Felix. My word. I'd quite like to defeat Gotrek as well. That sounds like a lot of fun. Right, so, let's move along. Speak your words while I still deign to listen, mortal scum. 
Hello, they want money. No, Throg, I'm not giving you any money. Now come over here so I can kill you. And Valmir von Rolkov did decide to attack us. Uh, if I auto-resolve this, I'm going to lose the Forsaken that I just recruited. It turns out they're low armor. Just that, uh, I say low armor, it's 96. But, you know, it's not 110. Um, I, I have a feeling that... I guess their melee defense is a lot, lot lower. Either way, they're just being seen as a lot more flimsy, so... Auto-resolve is um, killing them. Which is annoying, because I would like to be able to auto-resolve more battles in this campaign. Just because... You know, we're relying on the same tactics with every single uh, battle, so... And we will be destroying, probably, a lot more armies in this campaign than any other. Because it's Radius mod, and, you know, they keep throwing armies at us. Um, so maybe it's a mistake to get Forsaken. Though, it's quite fun. Forsaken are fun. But yeah, I think I will have to replace them with Chaos Warriors. Um, or, you know, something something more tough and standard, you know. Are they having damage units is good? Oh, I don't know. I, well, either way, I'm going to have to auto-resolve this. They did survive. Holy cow. Okay, never mind then. They take it all back. They can stay. Um, let's kill the captives. So we can get some more experience for everybody. Even though we will be replacing a lot of these units. Hmm. We have 46k. I think we're fine. Yeah, let's get experience. Your conquests strike fear into the hearts of your enemies, mighty lord. The wisest amongst them will know that fate is on your side. I have foreseen it. I see stuff too. I've got a, I've got a big eye. Of Ed Sheeran. So, uh, the Eye of Ed Sheeran. That's what it's called. The Ed of Sheeran. Uh, a loyal servant to the Chaos Gods is one that enacts carnage. This raid destroys and scatters the mortals before him. We actually did uh, four out of five of the bonus objectives. Which I realised, uh, can I, is there a way I can look at those? I'm not sure there is, you know. I'm not sure there is. And that's these are the same every time. Do these remain the same every time? No, they don't. How do I go back a chapter? I don't know which one we missed out on. Not a clue, but still, four out of five is pretty good. Um. Oh, I can't remember what they all were now. I think there's one related to building or something. Uh, possibly, I forget. But that's fine. That's fine. I think we did well there. That was good. I'm happy with that. Because I never I never bother with the with those objectives. But you know, it gave us like a little adventure, which we wouldn't have otherwise bothered with. Uh, all hail the champions of chaos. It is they who the eyes of the chaos gods fall upon. They are the ones that risk damnation in exchange for a chance of greatness. Continue the slaughter. I can continue slaughtering. I'm really good at that. Uh, so we know that this belongs to Skaven. And we know that that belongs to Skaven. So, we're going to head for both of them. Because they're next on my list. We can destroy this. Oh, maybe fight. No, wait, it's all slaves. Oh, who cares then? We'll destroy that. We'll destroy that. And then we'll head for help it. I think that might also be Skaven and possibly this one too. Let's check. They have four. Okay. So maybe just uh, Kazid, Bordkarag, or, or Shock Traken. Because I think that might have been destroyed by Norskans. Possibly... But yeah, you need to grab some more land, you lunatic. Like, what are you doing? There's ruins right there. Jesu of the Kurgan. Silly boy. Very silly boy. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Uh, right. You there. What can you build me? I suppose we could have built this last turn. Well, aren't I daft? It matters not. Uh, also, we will be able to build... Nope, we need six. We need six now. I think it costs four, but no, the cost rises every time you build something new. So, you know, it's all good. So yeah, six we need. So, two more turns, I think? Yeah, I think two more turns. And we'll have it. So that's really good. Yeah, because in two more turns we'll have another three. So yeah, we're good. So that's pretty, it's pretty alright. I'm happy with that. Okay. So, I think, guys, I'm going to call it here. Because I do try and go for 45 minutes. Um, but that's an average, okay? This one is probably a little bit shorter. A little bit. It's often hard to tell because I don't know how much I'm cutting out of the particular episode. But, um, you know, I get to choose when I stop. And now is the time. So, uh, deal with it. And also, don't take it personally. Because I love you guys. So, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.